term for it. I, I have a term for it. Let's just call it Stu golemization. The stupidity, maybe? Yeah. Turned into a golem. Turned into a mindless, animated piece of clay that yeah. resembles a human being but isn't one. You yeah. know? Golem. Yeah. That's as good of a term as any. Sure. I thought you I know, was... They have a name. The Dark Occultists have a name for it. They call it. people the dead. The dead. Yeah. The dead is their name. Walking dead, yeah. <laughs> they literally call people the dead. That's their name for human beings that are completely unconscious. The dead is their name for them. Because they, this is their rationale. See, their rationale as the social engineers and the control class, okay, is if somebody else is so ignorant that they don't know the first thing about the first thing, they haven't used their intellect, they haven't used their creative intelligence, they have no real intelligence as a whole, no holistic intelligence, and therefore they are not operating in any kind of knowledge, all right? And secondarily, they don't have in their emotions. Their emotions aren't fully developed and born. They don't care. They're apathetic, right? So they're ignorant and they're apathetic. Those, those are two of the three expressions for consciousness. Um, thoughts and emotions. Now, what's the third? Action. And they don't do anything. They're lazy. They're cowardly. They don't actually do anything to create real world change. No. They just accept the conditions as they are and say, oh, there's nothing I could do about it. What can I do to make anything change? So if they're ignorant, apathetic, lazy, cowards, by all intents and purposes, this is how the dark occultist rationale for this works, they are not really alive because they don't have consciousness. They are completely unconscious and they're in a permanent state of unconsciousness. Well, what's a permanent state of unconsciousness called? Death. death. Yeah. Well, they're in spiritual death. Yeah. And that's why they call them the dead. And their rationale extends and works like this in the, in in their own way of looking at their own behavior, the dark occultist behavior. They say if we do something to something that's dead, what's wrong with that? Is that an immoral thing? That's how it's they just, substantiate it. It's just an inanimate piece of matter that's just laying there. It's, like it's not really dead, alive. Yeah. It's like kicking so a dead So they horse. call people the dead, and they excuse all of the things that they do to further beat us down, to further trounce all over our rights, etc. And they excuse it by saying, well, that's all done to something that's not truly alive. That's right. They're, therefore... But what what karmic consequence or debt am I going to take by doing this action to a dead thing? Yeah. It's just a dead lump of uh, flesh that, that is just, you know, somehow animated by rote. And uh, whatever I do to it, oh, well, yeah. I have the right to do that because it's an, an inanimate piece of matter. Exactly. And you know what? As, as dark and sick as that is, I can understand at least their rationale. I'm not telling you I agree with it. But I can understand how they, in their twisted mental state... Started thinking of that. Well, started thinking that way. At the end, because, of the day. you know, they, they, that's their worldview when, yeah. when it comes to humanity. And I can't tell you that my overall worldview when it comes to ignorant human beings is, is like drastically different in, in so far as how they should be treated. I don't think they should be treated like that. But I agree with the, their perspective that that person is dead. Sure. They are dead. They are spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and psychologically dead for all intents and purposes. Where I disagree with the dark occultist is what should be done about that condition. Should that be perpetuated and they just be let go? No. I think they should be built up by an act of the will of the conscious, which means sacrifice is going to be necessary. That's what the great work is is ladies and gentlemen the great work is you have to take the message of truth to the people who have been ignoring it until they start to listen to it now think about how hard that is are we successful have we been successful so far no we haven't you want to know why too many people think the way the dark occultists do that's their own problem it's not my problem to morally educate these people yes it is it's not only your problem it's your responsibility as well it is our responsibility, if we have the knowledge of the difference between right and wrong, to morally educate other people by speaking that knowledge at all times and at all places like a never-ending chorus until people start catching on and singing the same song. It doesn't mean everybody needs to be the same, folks. That's not what I'm saying, so don't get it twisted. Okay? It's about everybody being on the same page when it comes to common sense knowledge of natural law. The difference between right and wrong, 
conscience. That's the common ground. That's what conscience means, common sense. Con in Latin is a prefix that means when you tack it on to any word root, it means with or together, together, with, shared, common to, okay? And then you have the word science in the word conscience, con science. Science comes from the Latin verb sciere. Sciere means to know or to understand. So literally conscience, it means literally common sense, to know together the difference between right and wrong. That's what we have to all be the same on. That's why we're in the situation that we're in now, because too many people don't have the knowledge of right and wrong, which is what conscience is. Conscience is knowledge. It is not action. The exercise of conscience, putting that knowledge into practice in our lives by willfully choosing right action over wrong action is uh, the exercise of conscience. That is action.